Okay, so uh, we're in the middle of 2022 and we have this abundance of, of uh, MIDI controllers at our disposal, of course. But what if for me as a guitar player, I want my guitar and I want my guitar uh, to be the main controller, the main MIDI controller that I use. I have a lot of other hardware controllers and I have the option of, of slapping on some sort of external microphone to use. But the alternative that stands out in my book is MIDI Guitar 2 from Jam Origin. It's a software alternative where I use all my own third-party VST instruments uh, that I already use in Logic or within Ableton. When you buy this software, it comes as standalone and as a plugin. Uh, it will scan your computer for every VST and audio unit instruments you might already have, and you can use this as a smart performance tool as well. It doesn't come with a manual, it has this help section uh, up in the corner and you also have the whole of the Jam Origin forum at your disposal. So what do you need to begin with this? You would need your guitar, you would need a chord, you would need your audio interface and you would need a computer. And uh, yay! Via this software, you can play any of your third-party instruments. I have a cello, I have a nylon string guitar that I play on my electric guitar, of course. I have a piano. A soprano saxophone. And of course, you can play any of your favorite synthesizers, uh, Serum or uh, Rollis Equator or whatever. Do you need a special guitar? No, I've tried the worst case scenario in my collection and that would be a electric acoustic guitar that has gotten no love in 20 years. You can also use a fretless guitar if you have one. Decent pickup, great sustain, and a clean signal chain. That is, no broken cables, and you wouldn't want to have any sort of pedals in between. So, preferably the chord straight from the guitar into the audio interface and into the computer. The idea here is to present options for how to use the MIDI Guitar 2 software. And while doing that, I'm using a lot of gear. I'm using the breath controller, perhaps, and I use uh, expression pedals. And if you want to try the same instruments, but perhaps not invest in a breath controller right away, you can use the off the touch in the actual uh, MIDI Guitar 2 software. Wherever I'm using a breath controller like this. Uh, just to enable the aftertouch going forward. Another question that keeps popping up is do I need to change my playing technique? You need to be mindful of your playing uh, in terms of how clean it is, of course. All that is coming into the computer is going to be translated, so any bum notes uh, are there as well. I'm using all the same techniques as I did from before. I'm, you can see me use uh, sweep picking as well. And uh, use any of those techniques that you used before. I wouldn't recommend, though, uh, slamming big chords, perhaps. Uh, striking a big chord with a lot of notes would be something like a congestion problem for, for the translation process. 
in my experience. Another great thing about this software is how easy it is to actually add on different functions either via hardware, new hardware like uh, your sustain pedals or breath control or whatever. And actually also scripts that you perhaps find in uh, the MIDI Guitar 2 forum. In the next example I'm tackling one of the MIDI Guitar 2 software's shortcomings which is the problem of uh, using really big chords by introducing a sustain pedal make it sound like I'm playing bigger chords when I'm really not another tool that actually comes with the software once when you purchase it is the transposer and it has different functions so you can actually use it to transpose on uh, say high velocity anything above the threshold is going to be played two octaves up and uh, anything below is going to stay in uh, neutral pitch or in, in standard pitch Some of those scripts comes uh, with the software on download already and uh, whereas others you have to uh, perhaps search the forum to get. This is the flip script and uh, you'll, you can read about it in the video. This is nothing MIDI, but it's a shaper tool of the incoming audio. There's a deep expressor used on the acoustic tone for an almost flute-like sound. This is all part and parcel of the MIDI Guitar 2 software as well. If you want to explore the acoustic part further, use uh, a vocoder. This is the Reason BVX uh, multi-mode vocoder. So I have both MIDI and audio coming in from MIDI Guitar 2 software. So. Charted territories here. Uh, I've created an auto generative uh, environment to work as a backdrop for, for solo practicing. Everything that is created here is created in real time. So this is nothing pre recorded or uh, done in post edit. So this should answer any questions as to whether the MIDI Guitar 2 software is actually up to the part of, of working as a uh, live performance tool, for instance. So here I have a plus pedal that I use. It involves a wet signal and a dry signal. And I send the wet signal to one instance of MIDI guitar and the dry signal to another. 
so that I can solo over my own backgrounds that I make in real time, of course. Uh, this would be a great example of uh, utilizing two instances of MIDI guitar at the same time or simultaneously. Uh, a great function again. to mention the breath controller for you the breath control that's only one of four functions here so I also have a function where I bite down on this that's the bite sensor there's a tilt sensor and there's a nod sensor as well and I use the nod sensor here to change keys <laughs> If you're like me, interested in uh, orchestral composing and instantal orchestral composing, uh, this is probably right up your alley. This is uh, the next MIDI Divisimate software that you can use in parallel or together with the MIDI guitar software in a really easy way. The next part, I have tenor saxophone and I have a big band. Uh, also, next mid is Divisimate stuff. If you want to get as close to Michael Brecker's chord rotator stuff as possible with another software, I would absolutely suggest that you uh, try out this MIDI harmonizer. I'm showing links to all the videos that I'm showing you clips of here in the video description to this. So if it's anything you're interested in at all, check it out there. And I also, I have links to all the software I'm using in those respective videos. So another chapter is the iPad and the MIDI Guitar 2 on the iPad. That's a separate purchase from that of the desktop version. The iPad is obviously more mobile and I have something that I call my mobile rig. That is my iPad and the iRig audio interface and uh, some wireless uh, transmitter receiver stuff. Uh, this is an example of how I would set up uh, playing outside. Maybe you want to be out but not outside. I use my iPad here with 
a micro tuning for my guitar and a sensel morph plate for some gesture music. To conclude this journey into what is uh, MIDI Guitar 2 in 2022, I just want to point at the possibilities of using a hexaphonic pickup, get six channels of audio into your computer and there actually use six different instances of MIDI Guitar in parallel for six uh, different instruments. Bet you didn't know about that. This is obviously also the remedy for the minor second interval problem that MIDI Guitar 2 has. You're gonna hear the minor second interval being played without any issues at all. I've only scratched the surface of what's possible with MIDI guitar I feel there are millions of other setups just waiting out there and I'm sure that every other controller is like that there are million ways to use them if you haven't tried MIDI Guitar 2, do try it there's a trial version it's totally free on their website and you can try it for as long as you want to. This has been most fun and thank you for watching. Bye. Uh...